Day, Colorado. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful morning, huh? But hey, meteorologist Greg Dutra says it's going to cool off. Well, dozens of Coloradans had headed to see Pope Francis during his visit to the United States, and many of them have now returned. So we're talking to to many of the uh, children's groups, students' groups. But now, going to talk to Deacon Jerry Codas from Our Lady of the Pines Catholic Church. He's here to tell us all about his trip to D.C. And I know you did so much. Welcome, Deacon Jerry. Thank you so much, Shaw, for having yes. me and helping to get this wonderful message uh, out there. Well, you did so much in the planning of, of the masses, and you participated even. It was such a blessing. Um, I found out uh, talking to our archdiocese uh, here in uh, Denver, mm -hmm. contacting the archdiocese in uh, Washington, D.C., that they needed a few more deacons to help distribute the Eucharist or communion uh -huh. at the Pope's Mass last Wednesday. And so um, I was uh, uh, selected. I got uh, very great support from our diocese here. They sent letters and then uh, was picked and got to participate in that Mass, which was mm. awesome. Just incredible, yeah. and so many people watching around the world, and of course, obviously here in the United States. But one thing we were talking about is that the unity th that occurred in this country, whether one was Catholic or not. I think that's mm -hmm. so, so incredibly wonderful. Um, one of the things that I do uh, is I chair, uh, I have been chairing this group called Colorado Interfaith Power mm -hmm. and Light, mm -hmm. and it's uh, our board of directors has uh, ra a Jewish rabbi, Lutheran pastors, mm -hmm. I'm a Catholic deacon, mm -hmm. uh, we have a Muslim sheik, and all have come together and are excited about this uh, Pope's message, mm -hmm. his, his idea that he's bringing this message to all people on earth. Yeah, and, and how was it received where you were? The Pope did have, you know, there are some political mm -hmm. overtones and, and undertones as yes. well during the Pope's visit. How was that received there when you were in Washington? You know, I sense, Shaul, a, a really a positive reception. Mm -hmm. I think people are seeing that this is beyond politics, that he's calling us uh, to come together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a message of love. Mm -hmm. um, and I think everyone resonates that with that. I, my sense is that, you know, uh, from a recent Pew poll, I think 60-some percent of Americans are now part of a religious community. Mm -hmm. And these p people see that uh, this is a moral issue now. That's what our po mm -hmm. Pope Francis uh, calls this. It's a moral issue. And uh, so that resonates, okay. I think, people all faith. Well, you know, it's it's evident uh, before the Pope's visit, the excitement yeah. during the Pope's visit, and I'm sure long, long after we will be feeling the effects here of this message. And thank you so much, Deacon Jerry, thank you. for joining us here on Good Day. Just so exciting. I can't imagine having the opportunity to go and even be part of any type of celebration for the Pope. Unforgettable experience of a lifetime. Thank you, guys. And now it's time to take a look at what's trending. Tweets could be getting a little bit longer as Twitter.